while I'm back at it. This time, try and follow. And uh, we're gonna see how it works. Howdy there, everybody. Rachel is in New Zealand. Yay! And we are in a lucky camper van. That is the name of the, of the brand. Um, I can tell you the last camper van was better. <laughs> this has been described as a well-loved view. A well-loved, exactly. Today is Monday. We have this until Friday. Currently hanging out in Trouncing Park campsite, which is just uh, on the south border of the Waipoa Forest. And Rachel's cutting some mango, making some pasta. We're the only ones here at this campsite, which is kind of spooky. And then go for a week-long adventure on the North Island, so... Should be a good time! Yep. Woo! <laughs> Rachel and I are going Kiwi on to go. Did you hear that? That's a that's a Kiwi. That's a Kiwi. <laughs> okay, so we're back. We're on the Tane Mahuta Trail. We're gonna check out the mightiest tree of the forest. And then we're gonna continue on through the Waipo Forest. Go up, check out a boulder field, maybe some hot springs. Finish at a campsite, another DOC campsite. Hopefully we'll be able to make a fire. Today is gonna to be a great day. It's beautiful out, perfect weather, sunny. I think we're both very excited. We are preparing the firewood that we're gonna need for a fire. We didn't have a knife big enough to bat into the wood with, so Lucky gave us a kitchen knife. And it's dull as a doorknob, so we're using it to split firewood. I'm over here making fire sticks. We don't have a powered site at this campsite, so just because there there aren't any, yeah, so Rachel's right, it's gonna be cold. We, we have nowhere else to go. So. Rachel is now going to attempt uh, the crazy, but she's she's water girl, so oh, I can see my breath. <laughs> I woke up with a fear this morning, but I can taste you on the tip of my tongue. Alone without no warning, you're by my side and we've got smoke in our lungs. Last night. Hiking on the giant Teipaki sand dunes now. What's crazy is that as you're driving here, you're just driving through this green, luscious pasture, with cows grazing, but you can see just over the crest are these huge sand dunes that look totally out of place.
crowd But I'm usually the type of girl that would hit and run uh, No risk, so I think I'm all in When I kiss your lips through my heart, keep thumb uh, And now we're way up, dancing on the roof of the house And then we make love right there on your best friend's couch And then We came out to Matanui Bay. I've been here before with my parents and Caroline, but it's like the first time. But it's beautiful, so we don't mind. Thought I'd show you a little bit about our camper van. So we rented from Lucky. You never know that, based off of any of the demarcations on this van. It's an old Toyota, uh, well loved. This door here opens up. We've got the shower, which Rachel is currently using, and the toilet, and then a small fridge, and a cooktop, and a sink. And then back here, we have a table that just comes out, uh, two cushions on either side, and then this tabletop, and then another board sort of fit in between here, and these two side cushions go in the middle to make one big bed, uh, which is actually quite spacious and comfortable. This is from the back, which opens up, and you can see in now. We have our bags down here, but I mean, this whole space becomes one big bed. We've got the blinds that go down to cover up the windows. The storage system is a little interesting. It's just these nets on the sides up there. Um, there's one right up here too as well. And then, just talking basics, we have uh, your standard uh, roll down windows So that's fun And then just you know basic vehicle things it's been great to us so far uh, it Should get us the rest of the way. We've had no real problems. Yeah, it's quite quite a fun vehicle to drive too There's our there's our camera van just in case you were wondering It's been a fun day. We went and checked out some glowworm caves, which were really cool. And now we're going on a walk. It's beautiful, there's waterfalls. I mean, it's hard to beat that. Well, Rachel and I have come out to the Waipoa Caves and you can just go in, like there's no payment, no guided tours and they are these huge caverns that extend for hundreds of meters into the ground and there are a massive amounts of glowworms and a river and stalactites and stalagmites and all these this place is so cool. I did not know it existed, and I would have been here a long time before now if I did. Uh, and I think we just made it to the end of this little tunnel, so now we're gonna have to head back, but well worth it. This is one of the cooler things I've done here. So. Well, we're out. It was one of the coolest things that I've ever done. I know I've said that a lot here in New Zealand, but it was true for this one. I don't know when in my life I'll ever get to do something like that again. Just this open cave that you can go explore with low worms. Oh, and by the way, it's the Waipu Caves, not the Waipoa Caves, so correction on that. And Rachel and I are just gonna 
eat some granola bars, and then head back to the campsite. Call it a day. <laughs> This is officially my last night in New Zealand. It's been a, a hell of a great time. And I don't, I wouldn't take back any of the moments I've had here. It's really been the experience of a lifetime, but well, it's time to say goodnight to New Zealand. So, goodnight. <laughs>